So guys, here you can see even more I mean came about the holistic web development. And in today's holistic web development video, I'm telling you about the index table, about the table border. So yeah, I'm telling you about it. So you start to it and please like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. And do not forget to all the notifications while also never some any future latest videos about the full stick web development. So now without taking your any time, let's move computer screen and let's learn about what are in the estimate, what are table borrows. So now let's move computer screen and let's do a coding with loving it. So guys, here in see more time came out the full stick web development and into this full stick web development video. I'm telling you about the industry and what a table border. So yeah, I'm telling you about it. So let's get started. Hmm. HTML tables can have borders or different styles and shapes. Okay. How to add a border? To add a border, use the CSS border property on table th or td elements. And I have told you about the table th and td elements in the previous video of the full stack web development. This is an example to give the border to your table. To give your the border to your table, you only uh, want to do. Let me show you what. First of all, open your Visual Studio Code and create a new window, and then create a one file and by the name of index.html. And I am making this file on my documents and then create files. Yes. And now I am pasting this code here. First of all, I define my. Uh, I make a list. Okay. Like in the previous video, I already told you that how to make a list, so I do not telling you another time. So then I write here table t at then td. Then I give the border one pixel solid black. Let me show you. Let me open my document and let me open my index or HTML file. So you can see it like this, it is coming. Okay, why it is like this? It is coming because I give the uh, border it should be black. If I write red. And if I give 10 pixels, say when, so you can say 10 pixels coming, but I'm thinking the 10 pixels very high. 4, no, sorry, 2. It is perfect. Now here you can see it. Or you give the background color, so it'll be black, and color will be white. Save, run. Now it is looking like this. And now, I'm adding the font family also like poppins, comma, and serif, save and run. So now it is looking like a beautiful, but I am giving the hover table, comma, th, comma, td, hover. Background color should be, uh, background color should be red. And then color should be white. Border should be when pixels solid should be red sorry black now perfect and now save it come here and run it now here you can see it when you hovering it so it is here you can see it like that or if you want the transition so you give the transition also like transition will be 0.5 seconds save and run so now it is looking like this now it is looking like beautiful, so now let's come on it here. Like that you can give the border to your table. Collapse table borders. To avoid having a double borders like in the example above, set the CSS border collapse property to collapse, okay? If we do not want this type of borders. So give the border collapse, so will be collapse. Save and then run, so you can see the only one border is coming now like that this will make the border collapse into single border like this and i have i have already told you that so i do not told you another time okay and i have already right hit here border complex will be complex and here i also apply it okay now let me minimize it style the table borders if you set the background color of each cell and give the border uh, a white color the same as the document background, you will get the impression of, uh, of an invisible border. Okay, now let me show you how. Like if you give like this. If you write like this, now save it and end it. So you can see now it is like invisible, okay. In invisible border, so you can see it like that. But I like this, so I am giving like this, okay. Now, 
राउंड टेबल बॉर्डर विद द बॉर्डर रेडी प्रॉपर्टी द बॉर्डर गैस राउंडेड कॉर्नर हाउ लेट मी सोच यू कैन गिव द यू विल बी राउंड बॉर्डर सो हाउ लाइक बॉर्डर रेडियस फिफ्टी पिक्सल सेव एंड हंड सो यू कैन सी इट इट इज इट इज बिल्डिंग इन इट हेयर और फिफ्टी पिक्सल्स इज वेरी हायर आई एम गिविंग दन टेन पिक्सल्स ना टेन पिक्सल्स इज ऑलमोस्ट गुड ओके ओके हे कैन सी इट नाउ स्कीप द बॉर्डर अराउंड द टेबल बाई लिविंग अप द टेबल फ्रॉम द सी एस एस सेलेक्टेड फॉर डूइंग दैट यू ओनली राइट एड फॉर डूइंग दैट यू विल बी रेज इट यू राइट एड टी एच कॉमर टी डी बॉर्डर रेडियस टेन पिक्सल सेव एंड देन राइट ओके फिफ्टीन पिक्सल सेव एंड देन राइट सो यू कैन सी इट दिस वन अवर फर्स्ट नेम लास्ट नेम एज इज नॉट मूविंग फ्रॉम इट्स प्लेस ओनली द जेल लाइक ई वी जॉन सीमेंट जैक्शन एज इट इज ऑल एट बॉक्सेस आर ओनली मूविंग आई एम गिविंग लाइक फाइव पिक्सल सेव एंड रन सो लाइक देर इज गिविंग नोट फाइव इज नॉट एट so so it is much better okay like that you can give the table dotted table border you can also give the dotted table borders how with the border style property you can set appearance of the border okay with the border style property this is the following values are allowed okay here you can see it like first is dotted dash solid double groove ridge inset outset non hidden this is the Here you can see it. if uh, if you give the dotted if you give the dotted so let me tell you how you can give the dotted you only write here border style will be dotted save and then run so here you can see the dotted line is uh, line is uh, is come here you can see it dotted line is line here you can see it the dotted line is uh, line is come here you can see like that like that you can give the dotted line border color With the border color property, you can set the border color, set the uh, set the color of border. Okay, let me show you how you only give the border color. Or uh, I'm giving the I'm giving dark blue, save, and run. So you can see the dark blue has been came. Like that, you can give it. Or if you want to give the white, so give the white. Like that, you can set the border color. Now here you can see in today's video of the uh, holistic web development, I told you about the industry and about the table borders. So I hope you can enjoy this video. If you enjoy, so please like this video, share your friends, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to all the notification bell also, so you never miss any future related videos about the HTML. Or in today's video, we learned about it how to give the border, how to give the table borders in the HTML. We learned about it. So here you can see it. Our table has been built very successfully. Yes, and when we How when it hit, it is it is becoming in the right color. Here you can see it very beautifully. Or if you change the font also when you hover it, so you can also change it like font C red comma sans serif. Save run. So here you can see the font is also be changing. Here you can see it like that. Or you give the font style should be italic. Save and run. Okay, you can see it. Font is also coming in italic. Like that, you can do it very easily. Yes, like that, you can give the uh give the hover on it. Uh, okay, or give the border table borders. In today's video, I told you about the table borders in the HTML. So I hope you can enjoy this class. If you enjoy, so please like this video. And if you do not forget, and if you do not access my playlist yet, so how, let me tell you how you can access it. You got just go into the Google. Search in my channel by the name of Four Bell PK, and then open my channel. First link has been came, and then click on the uh, videos. Then click on the playlist, and then click on the HTML tutorial uh, for beginners playlist. First of all, bookmark this playlist and see all the videos. Then come on to the holistic web development playlist, access it, and see the all the videos. Okay, and we started up uh, uploading the projects. Okay, also in this channel, so see that videos also. So now, anyways. I'm using next class and next video. I'm using like the data type of videos, amazing type of videos of the holistic web development. So now for today, goodbye.